What's up guys, Josh D's here, back with another video. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I know the subscriber count's been growing. You guys are awesome. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not in my usual location. I'm actually in the, in the process of moving right now and relocating. So I'm in Nashville, Tennessee at the moment, visiting some family. Uh, just enjoying the warm weather, happy to be back in the south. But this video, I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with hunger cravings when you're fasting or if you're just now starting to incorporate intermittent fasting into your lifestyle. You know that I'm a huge fan of intermittent fasting. It's one of the tools that I use to lose a lot of the weight. I've lost 160 pounds in total and intermittent fasting helped with that a ton. I also transitioned into bodybuilding and building muscle and etc. And I still fast. I've talked about that, how to maintain muscle mass while intermittent fasting. But in this video specifically, how do you deal with your hunger cravings when you're fasting? So Thor here is not fasting today. Say hey Thor. It's super hot out here. I use the 16-8 method, so I fast for 16 hours and have an eight hour eating window. So what do I do during that fasting window? First things first, you guys know that I love coffee. Um, coffee, caffeine is something that, that's probably one of my only addictions that I have at this point. I have to have my coffee in the morning when I get up. But the benefit of that is that coffee or tea, green tea, anything like that with the caffeine in it is okay to have during your fasting period as long as you don't fill it with a bunch of sugars and creams. And that caffeine and some of the other uh, natural antioxidants in those coffee beans can actually curb your hunger cravings, right? So coffee is one of the things that I go to. I only drink water and black coffee while I'm fasting. So during that fasting window, when I wake up in the morning, 6.37, whatever time I wake up, I don't usually eat my first meal until 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon. And I basically, as soon as my feet hit the floor, I drink a huge glass of water, probably 30 ounces or so of water. Uh, that's the first thing that I put into my body. I think that hydrating yourself after you wake up from sleeping is super important. It always makes me feel better. Uh, if, you have, if you're one of those people that wake up groggy or have headaches or dry mouth and stuff like that, go drink you a glass of water as soon as you wake up and it usually will clear those things up. So after I've had my glass of water, I'll immediately have a cup of coffee, whether I brew that at home or if I go pick it up at a coffee store, or whatever, like a Starbucks, um, but it's always black coffee. I never put sugar or cream in that. I know some people say that using the artificial sweeteners such as uh, Splenda or Stevia or something like that, as long as it's no calories, shouldn't break your fast, but I've also heard that having that artificial sweetener can actually trigger your body to think it's in the fed state and break the fast. So. For me, I don't have any problem drinking just black coffee, um, so that's what I do. And that's one of the things that I do to help control my hunger. I've found that by drinking just one or two cups of coffee in the morning, um, I'm usually not hungry. I don't really have an appetite until about 12 or 1 o'clock when it's time for my first meal. Another thing that I do is that I try to stay active and busy, right? I don't just sit around and browse social media or watch YouTube or Netflix because doing that, you know, essentially you get bored. We always fall into that mindless eating where you just, your, your natural instinct is to create a crunch on something, eat something, snack on something. And so you're going to feel more hungry when you're sitting around not doing anything, whether you're just bored. As long as you're active though, you're moving around, whether it's doing house chores, going and running some errands. Uh, some people love to work out in a fasted state, which is also really good. Myself, I prefer to train in a fed state. I've talked about that in other videos as to why. But uh, certainly working out can be something that can help decrease your hunger and take your mind off from being hungry until it's time for you to eat. Walking, going for a brisk walk outside, anything really to stay busy and to take your mind off the fact that you know, you're hungry. Because a lot of times that hunger is not necessarily your body actually being hungry. It's more of a psychological hunger. And you can kind of tell the difference between the two. And the good thing about intermittent fasting is that it will help teach you the difference between actually being hungry versus just psychologically thinking you're hungry. Uh, because when you're psychologically hungry or emotionally hungry, as they say, you're gonna crave specific things, whether that's a candy bar or pizza or ice cream, etc. You're gonna have a specific craving. It's gonna come on suddenly. Um, you're just gonna get extremely hungry very quickly and you're gonna overeat typically when you do eat. Uh, you're gonna emotionally eat and not know when to stop. You're gonna eat past your time of being full and then you're gonna feel guilty afterwards. 
And you take that and compare it to actually being hungry, usually it's, it's a build up. You usually build that hunger up over a long period of time. It doesn't come on suddenly. Um, you don't really have specific cravings. Any food really will satisfy your hunger craving at that point because your body's just telling you it needs nutrients. You're not gonna overeat. You're more likely to eat and stop when you're full and you're not gonna feel guilty afterwards. You're gonna feel like you're fed, you gave your body what it needed and you move on with your day-to-day -day activity. So there's a huge difference between just emotionally being hungry, psychologically being hungry and actually your body telling you that it's hungry. So learning the difference is super key and critical to being successful when using fasting and fasting is a great tool to help teach you the difference. So that's one thing. Um, another thing that I like to do is stay hydrated. Again, drinking plenty of water. A lot of times people confuse hunger with just being dehydrated. So making sure that you're drinking plenty of water. Again, coffee and water is all I drink throughout my fasting period and I'll usually go back and forth between the two. As I mentioned earlier, first thing I drink is water in the mornings. Then I have a cup of coffee. I'll usually follow that up with a water. Again, with the artificial sweeteners, some people say that it's okay to drink an artificially sweetened water or like a sparkling water with some kind of flavoring in it that has no calories. You'll have to try and see what works for you. I try to stay as clean as possible and I just drink regular water and black coffee. So I don't put any artificial sweeteners or anything into my body until it's time for me to actually have my first meal. When you are eating, make sure you're getting enough of your macronutrients in. Make sure you're actually eating enough protein and fiber and carbs because you want your body to be full and that way when you go into the next day and you're fasting your body doesn't think it's starving right you've got enough fuel in you from the previous day to carry you through the next day's fast so make sure you're getting enough macronutrients in guys it's super important to make sure you're getting your calorie intake in during your eating window to uh, help curb those hunger cravings as well after I've broken my fast with the first meal then that changes then I'll switch over to drinking the flavored sparkling waters I'll chew sugar-free gum because I'm already in a fed state at that point. I'm not worried or concerned about actually breaking my fast. So those are some of the tips that I can offer as far as staying you know, in the fastest state and not really constantly thinking about being hungry or trying to curb your hunger cravings. I know that fasting is something that takes an adjustment period for most people. You can't just start cutting out meals. As I've mentioned in previous videos, if you want to start trying to incorporate intermittent fasting into your lifestyle, I would recommend so just starting to delay your earliest meal. So if you're used to getting up and eating breakfast at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., start delaying that. Start pushing it back one hour, two hours, three hours, and gradually build your way into fasting up until the lunchtime period. And then, of course, if you fit your lifestyle and if you want to, to try it out, there's other variations of fasting as well. You can fast for longer periods of time. You can try the one meal a day, the OMAD diet. I know a lot of people have had a ton of success with that. Uh, you can fast for 18 to 20 hours as opposed to the 16 hour fast. 16 hour fast just works for me. I still like to eat two meals a day because I train vigorously in the gym. I do a lot of weight training and weight lifting. You guys know that. And that just fits my lifestyle. So that's what works for me. And you got to figure out what works for you. But dealing with your hunger cravings doesn't have to be as difficult as you think. I think most people are just psychologically or emotionally hungry. They're not actually hungry. So I hope this information was useful. I got plenty of more videos coming, even though I'm on the move right now. I got a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully I'll be in the gym. I've been training at an Anytime Fitness here, this local. It's a little bit smaller gym than I'm used to, but uh, it's got the basics of what I need. So hopefully I'll get some training footage out for you guys later this week. And as always, remember to eat right, lift heavy, crush that subscribe button, comment down below guys, and let me know what else you wanna see. Turn on the bell notifications so you're the first to know when I post a new video, and I'll see you in the next one.